my dear students in this question a circuit is given we have to find out the value of resistance r1 and r2 from the given circuit current in r2 is given as 0.5 ampere and current in 20 ohm resistance is given 1 ampere this resistance r2 10 ohm and 20 ohm these three resistance are in parallel therefore potential difference across each resistance will be same then we can say that potential difference across 20 ohm resistance equal to potential difference across r2 potential difference across r2 will be given by current into resistance r2 current is 0.5 then potential difference across r2 is current is 0.5 into resistance r2 equal to potential difference across 20 ohm resistance this will be equal to current 1 into resistance 20 this will be equal to 1 into 20 then r2 will be equal to 40 ohm if you solve this then out of four options only in first option it is given that r2 is 40 ohm if you have calculated this this value then just tick first option and move on this is according to exam point of view but if you want to solve the complete question for learning purpose then we can also further solve this suppose current in 10 ohm resistance is i dash this is i dash again potential drop across 10 ohm equal to potential drop across 20 ohm resistance because because these two are in parallel potential difference across 10 ohm resistance will be equal to resistance is 10 ohm into current i dash equal to potential difference across 20 ohm resistance this will be equal to current 1 ampere into resistance 20 i into r that means 1 into 20 hence i dash equal to 2 ampere here this current is 2 ampere here current is 1 ampere use kcl at this junction we will get we will get current here as 2 plus 1 that means 3 ampere again at this junction use kcl kirchhoff's current law this outgoing current is 3 ampere this outgoing current is 0.5 ampere at this junction total outgoing current is 3.5 ampere hence at this junction total incoming current will also 3.5 ampere now this is to consider this as point p and use kvl in any closed loop we will move on outer loop uh, this is p potential using kvl potential of p is vp in the direction of current potential decreases minus i into resistance r1 to minus 3.5 into r1 again from here here in the direction of current again potential will decrease by i into r minus i is 1 into r is 20 again move from this path negative to positive terminal potential will increase due to this battery by 69 volt 69 and this is point p equal to point p potential of p on solving this this will go here 3.5 r1 equal to 69 minus 20 that means 49 from here we will calculate r1 equal to 49 by 3.5 ohm and on solving this we get 14 ohm the final answer is r1 is 14 ohm and r2 is 40 ohm thank you